We've all done the worst kinds of things just to stay alive. But we can still come back. We're not too far gone. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie, and what the hell just happened on Walking Dead? There were so many surprises during the episode that I'm gonna do my top five WTF moments and then I'll do my review. So many things to talk about, so let's get started. Number five, Megan gets bitten. So the minute that that walker started crossing the river, I was just sitting on the edge of my chair. But the minute the dirt starts to rustle on the ground, I just stop breathing. You just know that the minute that walker sinks his teeth into her, it's all over. Her death is like that first domino that just knocks over all the other people that get murdered during the episode. Number four, the governor shoots Megan in the head after he finds out what happened. This happened after the shit hit the fan at the prison, so the governor was already full on crazy, but I never predicted that he would just shoot her without even giving it a second thought. Just the look on Lily's face while she was watching that happen too. She was basically seeing the governor for the monster he was. Number three, the prison dies. So, the biggest death in this prison wasn't Herschel, wasn't Megan, it was the prison itself. It was like a paradise, like an eye in the walker storm that was surrounding them. But like all things, paradise cannot last, so they are cast out of heaven, if you consider that heaven. Number two, the governor's death. So David Morrissey confirmed the governor is gone. He said he had to die because he had just basically done the worst thing he could possibly do. One, he killed Megan, and then two, he killed Herschel. There's no coming back from that. But Robert Kirkman said something really interesting. He said that in the comics, somebody different killed the governor. It was an unknown character and wasn't really satisfying, so on the show they changed it. So obviously Michonne runs him through, and then Lily finishes the job, which I thought was totally appropriate. Early on, I actually kind of predicted that the governor's new family would turn on him, and they would either maybe try to kill him or just abandon him. And of the two, I actually kind of guessed that Tara would have been the one to kill him, given the chance. And my number one WTF moment, the governor kills Herschel. So this was the most traumatic death in the episode. Herschel was kind of like everyone's dad at the prison. He was like the moral compass for that group. So what's going to happen now that he's gone? They're all kind of scattered to the wind and everyone's just losing their shit. On Talking Dead, Kirkman actually said that Herschel was supposed to die in the second season, but because he worked so well as this moral compass for the group, they kept him on. He decided this nice moral dynamic to the show that they thought was really interesting. And now that he's gone, it'll be really interesting to see where these characters turn to for moral guidance. But let me know in the comments, what are your top WTF moments from this episode and what do you think is going to happen to the group now that they're all splintered so remember there was the group on the bus and then there was the group that fled in the woods the show doesn't come back till february 9th but i'll be doing bonus videos this month and in january so be sure to subscribe to get them overall this is actually my new favorite episode from season four so far i love the way that they killed herschel and the governor because those characters are so big and they've been around for so long you have to kill them in a way that feels satisfying and i feel like they really accomplished that goal herschel had that smile on his face i thought that was really appropriate for his character he kind of felt like he had taught Rick everything he could teach him, and Rick understood what he needed to do. The governor, on the other hand, had hit rock bottom, so David Morrissey said that it was time to say goodbye. So I totally agree with that statement. There's really nowhere you can go with the character after he did the things that he did in this episode. After killing Herschel, that's one of the most unforgivable things you do. You kill the moral center of a group. I also thought the way Herschel died by getting decapitated was a nice callback to his speech in the third episode, where he said, you stick your neck out. Now that we've had eight episodes so far, though, and our mid-season finale, let me know in the comments what what is your favorite episode from this season so far? And how do you think they're going to top that whenever the season comes back in February? Right now, click here to get last week's Walking Dead video and click here to get my top five most anticipated moments for Sherlock Series 3. That's coming back in January. Thanks so much for watching. High fives. I'll see you guys tomorrow.